Mysot is a Thai town on the Burmese border. The area is a sanctuary for tens of thousands of Karen and other Burmese minorities fleeing civil war and looking for work or health treatment. Pao Tu is one of them. He was escaping from a battle zone in eastern Burma when a landmine tore his leg off. He says that at first he couldn't afford a prosthesis, but managed to get one for free at the Mai Tao clinic. Five years later, Pao Tu is back for a checkup. The clinic provides treatment for more than 100,000 displaced people a year. Its director, Dr. Cynthia Muang, is a displaced person herself. Metro Clinic was initially established in 1989, just after the military seized the power. So initially, Metro Clinic uh, set up to provide emergency health assistance and some relief for the new arrival. And today, Metro Clinic vision, together with our health partner organization, is to improve quality health service as well as to train local health worker and to empower local community organization and also including health promotion and protection for the people along the border area. About half of the patients are migrant workers. The others arrive from Burma. 90% of them don't have legal documents, which means they can't access the Thai health system. But here they can be treated. My Tao clinic provides life-saving cures, vaccinations and many other treatments. All newborns receive delivery certificates, which help them to obtain official Thai documents. Every year, the staff fits and replaces over 250 prosthetic limbs and operates on more than 7,000 people. But Maito Clinic is also a training hub, improving the standard of healthcare for rural populations. I studied the nursing care in Maito Clinic. Uh, I work at Maito Clinic because I would like to have the ethnic people because I know reality, the ethnic people, they face a lot of other healthcare problems. Hundreds come from all over Burma to be trained here. Travel can be dangerous, and many of them don't have the required papers. Still, Dr. Cynthia believes that building local capacity is the best approach to improving public health. Many of the diseases that occur here, like malaria or diarrhea, are in fact preventable community empowerment through primary health care is stay our target, our goal. So we feel that the ethnic health worker who speak the same language and who already have understanding about the Thai health facility system can facilitate and can improve access to health services. And also in Burma until now, I think there has been not much changes in the grassroots to empower the existing ethnic health organization. So we need to continue provide training opportunity for more ethnic health workers to strengthen the primary health care network in their own community.